On August 11, 1867, Karl Marx's Das Kapital was published. On August 11, 2014, chicken fries are returning to Burger King. These two events may not seem to have anything in common, aside from the fact that I am highly interested in both, of course. But in a sense, there is a common thread. Marx, of course, raged against the evils of capitalism and how it manipulated people who were forced to sell their wage labor to the owners of capital. My rage against Burger King is not as serious, at least as far as chicken fries are concerned. I do, of course, share the concern about workers who are underpaid for their labor when working for companies like Burger King or McDonald's and agree that the minimum wage should be raised. That was a thing about my chicken fry video and the first world problems hashtag. They seem to think that because I cared about one thing that was fairly stupid that I don't also care about things that are more serious. And was chicken fries coming back to Burger King as important as raising the wage for the people who work at Burger King? No. But I cared, and that was sort of the thing. Burger King lied. They uh, would put up signs that said that chicken fries were sold out when in fact they had been discontinued. The discontinuation was not announced, and they sort of blew me off when I tried to write to them. In fact, it took Daniel Tosh and his writers and producers at Tosh.0 to bring any attention to this issue. I flew to LA in January of 2013 to film my show for him. It aired in April of 2013. And now, in August of 2014, chicken fries are returning. Did I have anything to do with that? Or at least my appearance on Tosh? Possibly. I don't know if they would have come back regardless because Burger King would just phase products in and out. I don't know if my stupid little video, which got 3,000 hits, and then I appeared on Tosh and that bumped my video to 70,000 some odd hits. The Tosh show was watched by about 2.1 million people, at least on the initial run. It's probably more in reruns. I don't know if any of that made people complain enough to bring it back. I don't know. Will I take credit for it? Sure. I'll take credit for chicken fries coming back. But I don't know if that's actually the case. I don't know how much I had to do with it. If, if chicken fries did come back because of my video and because of Tosh.0, I think that might be the actual web the only web protection that it actually worked. I don't know, someone should check that. I actually don't watch Tosh.0 on a regular basis, so if someone could write and see if, uh, a web redemption has actually resulted in anything actually happening. It does appear that chicken fries are indeed coming back. There have been countless screen caps of Burger King's guru system. There have been videos that have leaked of the instructions given to employees. There have even been previews of ads and the fry pot that will come in leaked. I'm still pretty mad that Burger King took these things away without any prior notice and that there was not an apology. And there's still not an apology, they're bringing it back. And there's the thing, they're bringing it back, but they're not bringing it back permanently. They're only bringing it back for a limited time, which is sort of an insult. And if they come back, we don't know if they'll taste the same, we don't know if they've changed the formula. So it may actually suck. And then, their companies doesn't appear to be doing all that well. Do I want to pump any more money into this beast just to take the chicken fries? So then that's the main question. Do I go back to Burger King to try these things? Some of you may be interested to know what I think of them now that they're back. But they're bringing them back only for a limited time, and they have not apologized to myself or to any of you fellow chicken fry fanatics, and if there's at least 2,100 people in that Bring Back Chicken Fries Facebook group, then I'm not the only person who cares about this shit. How do I try the chicken fries when they come back in a week without giving money to Burger King? 
Have I figured out a way? I figured out a way. And you'll have to stay tuned to see. And of course these chicken fries don't matter. Not really. Do I miss them? Yes. Am I still mad at Burger King? Two years after I made that video? Longer, actually. About two and a half years since I made my original rant video? Yeah, I'm still pissed off. But it's not like I haven't found other stuff to eat. I've actually broadened my horizons. I'm kind of addicted to rice right now. Bacon. It's a new thing I've tried. And I've tried chicken in other places. I like McDonald's spicy chicken McBites. I had made a video about them, but YouTube took it down because my girlfriend showed too much cleavage in it. But I like that, but that was also only a limited time. KFC had Hot Shot Bites. For some reason, anytime a company releases a spicy product, it's only limited time. Why isn't spicy good enough for permanent menu status? Whatever. Then there was a KFC recently that sort of ripped me off in money, so I'm a little cold on them right now. But that's a franchise, that's not the entire company. Probably shouldn't blame them for that. But the point is, I found other stuff to eat. I'm doing fine. There's more important things going on than chicken fries. The minimum wage hasn't been raised in forever. And these companies aren't going to raise them on their own. So maybe it should be 10-10, maybe it should be 15, but these wage laborers deserve to be able to make a living, especially if they're working a 40-hour week. And then chain the minimum wage to the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, so that if prices raise with inflation, so would their wages. And of course there are arguments against raising the minimum wage, but studies have shown that those arguments are bunk and bullshit. While I'm glad chicken fries are returning, even if only briefly, and even if I'm not happy about spending money and putting it into the machine of Burger King, they are coming back. And that is one victory. They were taken away in January of 2012, and now they're being brought back, albeit briefly in August of 2014. So if I can do a little victory, if there was just a little victory about bringing back chicken fries, this stupid little first world problem that I had, that nobody cared about until Tosh and his writers thought I was funny, ranting about it and decided to put me on a Zero Dark Thirty parody sketch that also poked fun at Chick-fil-A's horrible homophobic bullshit. And then maybe we can do something else. If the people who mobilized to bring back chicken fries would also mobilize for raising the minimum wage in, in the United States. I don't know. Anyway, enough of politics. We'll see what happens.